Today, I'm going to show you how to use Content Aware Fill in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode, it's going to be quick, but really helpful. We're going to be showing you content aware fill, which is a newer addition to Photoshop since CC. And basically it gives you the ability to make a selection anywhere in your image, use content aware fill, and it's going to choose information from around your photo and automatically fill in that area. So you can use content aware fill to remove objects from your photos. And in this case, we've got a stray dog running through our photograph. So we're going to be removing him with content aware fill. So in today's episode, we're going to show you all about the fill dialogue so you can get a good idea of how to use the fill dialogue for filling with colors and patterns, things like that. And then we're going to jump in and show you content aware fill. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. All right, so here's our image for today. We've got a mother and a daughter at the beach, and uh, this is probably their dog, but uh, <laughs> for today's episode, we're going to call it a stray dog, and we're going to be removing this uh, puppy in Photoshop. So we're going to start off by creating a new layer, and we're going to go to Edit and down to Fill. So this is our Fill dialog. Now, we're just going to take a second to kind of like show you around the Fill dialog so you get a good idea of how you can actually use it in your images. So here in our fill dialog, we have a few options for fill. So we could choose our foreground color. Let's go ahead and click on foreground color where mode is going to be normal. We're going to be using normal for this whole episode and your opacity. You can change how visible or invisible it is. We're going to keep that at hundred. So let's hit okay. And you can see basically it fills the entire layer with our foreground color, which in this case is this nice blue color. All right, let's hit undo. We'll go to edit and up back to fill again. So you can see foreground color, background color. You can choose a color here. So if I want to choose that color, hit OK there. And there we go. We're filled with that color. All right, we're going to hit undo again. Go back up to our fill. And we have a few different options here as well. You can actually choose to fill this with a pattern. So if you have a pattern defined on your computer, you can just simply click on your pattern. In this case, I'm going to click on this little stone pattern there and hit OK, and our image is now filled with this little stone image. So pretty cool. Basically, you can just fill an entire layer or adjust a selection with an area. OK, you can also fill with your history as well. In this case, we don't have much of a history because we just opened our image. And you can choose black, 50%, gray, and white. Now, you can see Content Aware is actually in uh, it's grayed out right now. And that's because you have to use a selection with Content Aware Fill. So let's go ahead and make our selection and then Content Aware Fill away this little pup. Now, I'm on a new layer here, and I'm going to try to use Content Aware Fill on this new layer. Let's just make a circle there. And we'll say Edit, down to Fill, and go over to Content Aware. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, in this case, it's going to tell me there's not enough uh, opaque square pic source pixels here. Uh, basically, what that's saying is, hey, you can't do that on a blank layer. You need to do that on a layer that actually has an image on it. OK, so in order to uh, basically keep our background layer intact, what we're going to do, let's start by deleting this layer one. We're going to duplicate our background layer. So let's click here and drag down to the new layer icon. And there we have a background copy. That way, if we want to get back to our background layer at any point in time, it's really easy to do. OK, so here in a background copy, really simple to do. Basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to make a selection. So we're going to grab our lasso tool. There we go. And make a selection right around our dog. So lasso tools right there. Basically, just draw a selection around the area you'd like to remove from your photograph. OK, so now that we have our selection active, go to Edit and down to, con down to Fill. OK, and we're going to choose Content Aware. And the idea here is it's going to use information from the rest of the photo to fill in this area. So let's hit OK and see how it does. All right, well, I got to say, it did a pretty dang good job. So <laughs> there's removing our dog in Photoshop. Now, we're going to zoom in here and see that like this area might not be perfect, just like we want it. So we can make a selection around this area and just do it again. So edit, down to fill, and over to content aware fill. OK, and then it's going to try it again. Now, you're always welcome to, like, for instance, I'm going to hit S for the clone stamp tool. And I'm going to clone stamp in and just kind of like clean this area out a little bit more. So uh, just hold Alt or Option to sample a point, And then just kind of paint it in. There we go. 
So you can always kind of like, you know, make the transition look a little bit more natural, but Content Aware Fill will basically do all of your job for you. So pretty simple to use. Now the keyboard shortcut, you can hit Shift and hit Delete, and that's going to bring up your fill dialog. So in the future, let's go ahead and do this a couple more times here so you can see. Uh, we're going to start off by creating a selection. Okay, you can create a selection with your marquee tool or your lasso tool. In this case, let's go ahead and click right here. Okay, I'm going to hit Shift Delete, Content Aware, and hit OK. And there we go. So if I want to delete or remove any of these objects, there we go. Simply make a selection right around the object. In this case, there we are. Hit Shift Delete, hit OK, and it's going to remove these objects. So if it's you know just some trash in the background, that's going to work well. Or if it's an entire dog, <laughs> that'll work well too. All right, I'm just hitting Shift Delete a few times to get rid of these few little footprints here. So you can see it, it does a really good job. Now sometimes it will. Uh, it's obviously like an automatic tool, right? It, it, it doesn't know exactly what you want all the time. So sometimes it will, you know, kind of like leave a little bit of an area that like you don't want. In this case, I, I got to say it's doing a great job. Um, sometimes it'll like include, you can see here, there's the before and the after. It just put a couple little patterns in here that it thought, hey, maybe I want those in there. If that's the case, not a big deal. Just circle around them again and then hit shift delete and uh, content aware fill that once more. So um, really simple tool to use and incredibly useful here. It should save you a lot of time. And again, there you can see it, it did bring in a little bit more detail in the sand, but not a big deal. If you want it all gone, just select that area out again and hit shift delete. All right, and it should do a really nice job. See there you can see it's an automatic tool, right? So it's not, <laughs> it doesn't know everything. So right there, it basically sampled this part of the shadow and put it in there. So if that happens, no big deal. Just make a new selection, hit shift delete again, and you can go ahead and just run a new fill. And it should do a really nice job there. All right, so we'll leave a little bit of sand right around our subject's feet because we want to make sure it actually looks realistic, but there we go. We have a much cleaner image and uh, we've removed our stray dog. Now, super important here, we made a background copy. So if we ever want to get back, all I have to do is make this layer invisible and we can see uh, the, basically our original image and here's everything removed. All right, guys, let's jump in and show you the before and the after. Here's our before and the after. So you can see the Content Aware Fill tool is incredibly useful and it's really easy to use. If you guys want to do this on your own, just follow these key steps. First, make sure you create a duplicate of your background layer. This will allow you to get back to your original if you need it. Then go ahead and make a selection around the area you'd like to remove. In this case, we used a lasso tool and it just selected around the entire dog. Then you can hit Shift Delete or go to Edit and Down to Fill. Now you can choose to fill with different colors and patterns and things like that. In this case, we're gonna click on Content Aware and hit OK. It's gonna use information from around our photograph to fill in that hole, basically removing whatever you selected. Keep in mind that Content Aware Fill is an automatic tool and it's gonna sample around your images. It's not always gonna be perfect. So if it fills in an area with something you don't want, simply hit Undo, Control or Command Z, make a new selection and then go to Content Aware Fill again Chances are it's going to do it much better the second time. I hope today's episode helped out, guys, saving you some time with removing objects from your photo. If you love Photoshop and photography as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We'll send you free episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question, a comment about today's episode, just leave it in a comment box right down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. This little pup. Get rid of that stray dog. Fido! <laughs>